Hi, this is Norma. This is the card I'm going to show you how to make, and this is the embellishment on the flower. And the trick is, when you open it up, it's a pop-up. And you can put anything that you'd like in here. I just happen to make an A2C card. Okay? This is how we're going. First thing, I've already did a few things. I made the card, and I put the extra card cover on it. I went ahead and put some of the embellishments on it, as well as the ribbon. You take... And what I do is I take my chocolate cocoa and I take and I go around all the pieces and give it a brown stain look before I do anything with them. I'm going to do it on the flower petals and the circles. Okay? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to glue the ribbon on. Then we're going to take and tape on your circles. They're going to overlap so you'll trim off the excess on the back side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make the flower. Here's your flower petals and here's what you need to make the flower. I just start with the circle. I took the brown, put around it, and now we're going to glue this sequins that come on a string. I use Eileen's Tacky Glue and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put it around the flower like this. I go around every petal. You can do them one at a time. Either way it doesn't make any difference. It depends on how neat you are. Then afterwards I get them all on there. All the glue. I just start taking it around in a little circle. Turn it as you go. And just tap it down with your fingers. Come up on this side. Go around again until you get all of it on there. Once you get it all on there, all the way around, when you take the sequins all the way around, you'll end up with this. When you're done with that, we're going to mount it onto here. A little tape. Kind of make them at an angle. Then I'm going to glue this circle in the middle covers up any part that you don't want. Take some kind of needle or pen, whatever you used, to poke a hole. Then I'm going to take a little sequin. I'm going to take a, a brad and put it through the middle. And then you're finished with your flyer. Lay it aside. We'll go back to the card. Now we're get, we've got our circle. We're going to trim that off. It looks better. Okay. Got all of that done. This is where the flower is going to go. Right up here. What I use is mounting tape. This is, I buy it by the row. That way I can cut it any size I want. You can get them at um, all kinds of supply stores. Cut it off. Stick it on. Right. I kind of want it to cover up that part of the ribbon up there. Then I want to take another piece of ribbon, run it through this, and we'll tie our little bow, which is basically just a little knot. I try to make sure that the ribbon side, the right side, is always up, and then trim it off. There's the front of the card, except for stamping whatever it is you want on it. In this case, I'm using Thinking of You. And I'm going to stamp it right above there. Okay. Now we're going to go to the inside. Like I said, I took and cut this, which is approximately... Mm, a quarter of an inch all the way around the card, smaller than the inside of the card. Then I folded it approximately one inch down. You're going to cut two of these little things here, papers, one inch by four inch. And what I did is I took it and folded it in half. Then I took each end and folded it towards the middle. And when you open it, it gives you a square. So you're going to do both of them that way. And 
then we're going to put tape on the ends of it and glue it inside. Turn it over. And you want to come in about, um, I'd say an eighth of an inch or so, or a quarter of an inch maybe, right up against the seam. Put one end down, and the other end goes up against the back of the card like this. You're going to do both of them. A quarter of an inch in, around and this side, and press together. Then you have this insert that you're going to glue on it, approximately right where these are. Put you some more tape, set it up against there, adhere it to there, run a strip across here, push it down. Then all I did is I took some die cuts from a Sizzix die, mounted two small, one in the middle, with a piece of um, label on the back to hold them together. Run some more tape across there. Stick them right here in the middle. Okay. And I had these two little circles I thought were cute. And I went ahead and put some kind of thing since this is going to be a Valentine card. Here's a little piece of candy. And this is a little chocolate. Let's stick that on it. And then, as I did in the finished card, I just made an ATC card and stuck in there and stamped Happy Valentine's Day across here. And then you're finished. And this is your card. Have any questions, come to the site. Just cards.